I think the key point is that poverty, as others have already emphasized, is very, very closely linked to employment. Just about everybody on this panel has said that. Uh, you know, my favorite way of summing it up is the best anti-poverty policy that we could have as a country is give everyone a job. Um, and, you know, even in uh, Juan's four-point program of personal responsibility, it's about if there's a job out there, any job, take it, stick with it, persevere. Uh, maybe you'll build your resume uh, in the process. Uh, so that's point one. Um, bad news now and for years to come. Uh, uh, when I say years to come, we predict from our model that the, un that the poverty rate will be about 16% mid-decade. So, you know, it's not like we're at a peak and we're going to turn around quickly because there is a lag, as I think uh, Kathy said, uh, in, the, in unemployment uh, and the way poverty responds to it. Second point is, I think, the one that Indy has really been emphasizing, and that is that we're at a crossroads. We could, through policy, make things better, or through policy, make things worse. Uh, on the worse, making things worse path, uh, the greatest uh, fear and concern that those of us who care about this issue have is that Congress will enact various kinds of uh, deficit reductions, uh, spending cuts, that uh, disproportionately impact low-income families. Uh, and as Indy has said, there have been commitments in the past, including in the current Congress to some extent, to fence off those programs. Uh, the super committee, if it can't come to an agreement, uh, and we have an automatic sequester of both defense and non-defense uh, spending as a result, uh, that says, the, the, the rule says, or the law says, uh, fence off low-income programs. So that's good. On the other hand, even before that, uh, we have a lot of cuts in discretionary uh, spending that are going to need to be made. And these programs, these low-income programs, are very vulnerable. They don't have a political constituency. Uh, and for that reason, um, I, I do uh, worry. On the more positive side, uh, we could do more. Uh, as we did in the original Recovery Act in 2009 to help uh, people who are slipping into poverty and who don't have jobs. 